A typical road bike wheel has a diameter of 70 centimeters, which includes the tire. In a time trial with a cyclist moving along at 12 meters per second, seems quick, how fast is a point at the top of the bicycle move? Okay, so this is a bit challenging. So the idea here is we have a uh, wheel. It's moving along this way at 24 meters per second. And part of the concept that's going on here is that this wheel, the center of mass of this wheel is moving. And a couple ideas here is that the center of the wheel, which is what the bike is pretty much attached to, is moving at 24 meters per second. There's no slipping between the ground, so the ground and the bottom wheel actually aren't moving. So this is gonna be going at zero meters per second. And then the easiest, and then the question then is, how fast is the top of the um, wheel moving? And the way we do this is we are going to use uh, basically similar triangles. So the short answer is double. The longer answer is you look at these two triangles and you do similar triangles. So this is R, this is R, which makes this whole thing 2r, which is double, so when you do similar triangles, you find this is going to be 2 times 24 meters per second, which is 48 meters per second. No. Click, 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 click. 12, 24. There we go. Jumping ahead in life. So in time trial, it goes 12 meters per second. Double 12 meters per second, we get 24 meters per second. So the velocity at the top, 24 meters per second. So, and that's probably the easiest way to think about it. It's just similar triangles. How fast in rotations per minute is the wheel spinning? So, let's see here. We're going to use the relationship um, x equals r theta, v equals r omega, and a equals r alpha. So the average speed of the bicycle tire is going to be uh, 12 meters per second. So that's what we're going to use. And if, we're, if the uh, inertial frame that we're using was the frame of the bicycle moving, then it'd basically be rotating at uh, 12 meters per second. So we're going to use the idea of 12 meters per second. So we want the angular speed which is the revolutions per minute, omega, equals velocity over radius. We know the velocity is 12. So it's going to be 12 meters per second divided by the radius of the wheel, which we're told is 70 centimeters, which is 0 0.7, 0 0.7 meters. And so, this is going to give us 12 divided by 7 on clear, 12 divided by 0.7, nope, divided by 0.7, we get 17.14, 17.14, and now this is going to be in radians per second. But we don't want radians, we want rotations and we want them in minutes. So we're going to do some more conversions. There's 2 pi radians per 1 revolution. We're doing revolutions, right? Well, it doesn't matter. Rotations per minute, revolutions per minute. They are the same. And we'll have 60 seconds for every minute. So we'll take our previous answer, multiply by 60, divide by quantity 2 times 3.1415, which is pretty much sort of pi. And that gives us 163.7. 163.7 rotations per minute. I know I said revolutions there, rotations. Same thing. I'm not going to get caught up in it. So our omega, our angular speed, is 163.7. So 163.7 rotations per minute. Ah, it is revolutions per minute. That's okay. Revolutions. So that's how I'd approach that one.
Hope it helped. See you next time.